All right, let's take a look at Socrative.com. And what Socrative is basically clickers on uh, your mobile devices, clickers uh, on the computer. Uh, it's free. And so I uh, just want to show you how to uh, get started here. So the first thing that you do is you go to Socrative.com. And then uh, you're going to go down to the free Get Started Now. And since this is still in private beta, you have to put your email in. You have to email them to say that you want to try it. Um, and then click Get Notified. And what will happen is eventually they will send you an email back. I, I believe it's fairly quick. They'll approve you um, just to prove that you're a teacher or somebody that should be using it. And uh, they'll email you back. And then when they email you back, they'll give you instructions. They'll give you a link to this page here, uh, which is if you actually type in t.socrative.com, this will come up. And what you get is put in your email, put in your password, because um, you'll need to create a, a username, which is under the register button first. And so when you register... You have to register there. Okay, I've already done all that, and so I'm just going to log in. So when I log in, you'll see that you have a number. So this number is your room number. That's uh, pretty important as uh, when you start your quizzes, um, your students will have to put that in there, that room number. Notice, too, that it's limited to 50 users per activity, um, which should be okay for the most classes are not in the 50 range. And so what this screen is, is what the teacher sees. Now the student will see this. He's going to, he or she's going to put in m.socrative.com um, in the browser. So if I go to m.socrative.com, it'll bring me here. And it'll ask me for a room number. Now the students don't have to register or anything like that. And so um, that's what the student one looks like. Back to what the teacher one looks like. You have right here is where you're going to start your quizzes. So multiple choice, true, false, short answers, start a quiz, exit ticket, space race. Right here is where you're going to manage your quizzes. So you're going to create, edit, delete quizzes. You can also clear your room. You can change your personal settings and all that stuff down below as well. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a quiz. So we're going to go to manage quizzes and we're going to create a quiz. And what we're going to create, we're going to create multiple choice. Okay, we're going to name this one. Um, Easy Math 2, since I've already created one. So this is 1 plus, what is 1 plus 1? One? 1, 2, 3. Okay, make sure you click, click the right answer, which is 2, obviously. And you're going to create another multiple choice question. Um, we're going to go 2 plus 2 equals 2, 4, 6, 10. Obviously click the right answer. Multiple choice. So the last one here, let's just do 3 plus And so when you're done, you just hit save. And where this goes now, you can see you can edit it, easy math too, so I can edit all my quizzes here. Okay, and so we're going to go back to the main screen. You can also import, um, but you must download their Excel template to allow you to create your quizzes in Excel if that's what you want to do. Um, I'm not going to show you that now, but uh, that's how you do it. And so I go back to the main screen, and I'm going to start a quiz now. Okay, I can choose my quiz, which is Easy Math 2, and I'm going to start the quiz. Okay, and so now what we've done is, as a teacher, you can see that there are nobody, there's nobody in the room. Okay, so what your students will do now that you've started the quiz is they're going to go to m.socrative.com. And they're going to put in the room number.
Okay, this is my room number specific to my class. And so yours will be different. So my room number was 7008, it says right there. Okay. And I hit join room, the student will. And it will ask you what's name. And then you can take the quiz. So two tells you if you got it right or not. Going wrong here. Okay. Hit next question. Okay, so I finished the three. You can you can let another student take the quiz if you're sharing devices or finish quick quiz. Okay. Now the teacher is going to see this completed quizzes one of one you can also go to live results and see just watch students as they take the test or quiz um, and so I can see that Brandon only got two out of three correct okay when I'm done I just hit end activity send report so when everybody's completed I click OK and so now they're gonna this report is gonna get sent to me to my email. Okay. And so eventually here, there it'll come up. And now I can see that. So you can see your report uh, as a teacher. Now there's a bunch of different ones there. There's space race. And so the space race, uh, so we can set that up as your quizzes as well, Easy Math 2. If we want two teams, I'm just going to auto assign team colors. We hit next. Okay, and so what you have here now is a little space race. And so uh, what a student will do is I've started a quiz, their team yellow. So this is team, this is Brandon's group. We hit submit. And now we answer questions and what happens as we start answering questions the teacher will have this on the board and you can see the little rocket as they're racing and so kind of a neat little competition type of um, maybe review game or something like that and again end activity when you're done send report click OK and away you go uh, fairly easy uh, to create quizzes use quizzes um, exit tickets already made and so you have to um, if you're going to use an exit ticket uh, you need to kind of adapt it to what it has I don't believe you can create anything else and so what this does how well did you understand the material today what did you learn today and then a problem on the board and finish and so, um, as a teacher, as that exit ticket took a couple minutes, as a teacher, you'll see they can complete, see the completed one, and again, you'll end and send the report, and it'll send it to you in Excel. And so, uh, that's just Socrative.com, kind of in a nutshell. Uh, there is an app, and so if you go back to Socrative.com, um, I believe the app. Or if we go into the app store, I bet. And so, or I believe if you actually access it on your iPad, it'll come up and say, do you want to download the app? And so you can use the app for it too, um, which is kind of neat. So that's Socrative.com. Uh, 